right now, guys, I am using my Saunders um, extra material. They came with the book. And right now, I'm just practicing 25 questions right now to see how well I do. And this is one of the questions. Because I just feel like this is like the right time to try to focus on NCLEX because I'll be graduating in like three months. So, yeah. <laughs> right now guys in the background but um i just wanted to tell you guys that our clothes did our clothes our school did close but it's a good thing and it's a bad thing good thing only because um people with children including me don't have to worry about people you know watching our children or, you know, finding daycare or, you know, stuff like that. But the bad news is we are based on clock hours. So we don't know if we got to make that time up, if they might push our graduation date back. We don't know if we got to make up so much work. We don't know about making up clinical hours. We just don't know. And that's where we all right now are confused. That's why I wish um, at their clinical, which we should have had half a day. Because normally we do a meet and greet, like our first day at our new clinical rotation. But we didn't this time. Like we stayed the full eight hours. I feel like they knew ahead of time but they didn't want to tell us but like i said I like honesty i just felt better if they would have gave us half a day of clinical had us come back to school and talk about if um school was going to shut down like everybody else this is what you guys are going to have to expect but we didn't get that and that's what I meant by our school has a lack of a lack of professionalism when it comes to stuff like that. And I hate to even say that, but that's just how I feel. Because I like to be able to be in the know so that I don't have to worry later on. And you know, it's not good to worry. It's not good for the heart. It's just stress. And um, I don't know, like, I'm just going to continue focusing on studying because we got, like, a GU test, which was supposed to be tomorrow. Well, actually today because it's 1223 in the morning. But I just got done doing three assignments because my clinical group was not even um, added into the clinical two rotation um, folder. And we just got a message like 11 o'clock at night. I already had the journal done and a little bit of the care plan done. So I already submitted that and also did a narrative note and I just submitted that because I just don't trust not doing it even though um, we got it late and one of the girls in the group had emailed um, the teacher. She was like, don't worry about it. I still did it because you just can't trust anything. You don't know what they might um, do if you don't have an assignment. So I'm not going to risk my grade. But I just, I don't know, guys. It's just a corona thing. It's just like out of control from tissues, to, you know, shortage of food, um, closing down our school, not even our school, but you know, schools around the nation and like our degrees are in the line. We don't know what we gotta do. Like, yeah, we do stuff online, but like I said, we're based on clock hours. I know some people are based off of like credit. So I'm just, I don't know guys. I'm just praying that 
June 18th will be the day I'll be crossing the stage. Because people got plans at the graduation. Like, people actually plan certain dates. Because I know I did. I know a lot of us did in class. I just pray that this doesn't hold back, you know, our graduation date. I don't know, guys. So, right now, while we got these weeks off, I was going to focus on, like I said, studying some of the NCLEX and, you know, stacking my cash. If we're able to be out, you know, and working, then I'll shut down people's jobs. But, see, I work in a private case. So... I'm able to go to work, you know, but to like, you know, other ones that might not be able to work because of this situation, you know, this Corona thing. And then, um, we preparing to move on the 29th. I still got more shopping to do. Like me and my husband still got more shopping to do. And it's like, I want to get my stuff for the home so I can decorate because I love decorating. So... We'll see. And also, guys, if my week nine did not upload, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to that footage, but I know I uploaded it. But comment below if, if you guys did see it. If not, I erased all the footage, so I can't re-upload it, you know. So I just showed um, the end of how to make the picture frame thing just quite easy and um, I just told about talked about absolutely nothing <laughs> but um, I'm just praying for everyone as a whole in this world you guys just stop panicking and just give all glory to God and know that he will not and I repeat this will not put you into anything that we cannot handle just got to pray, you know. I don't let media get to me, ever. I'm just more focused on my degree and, you know, moving up in this world. Not this world, but this life alone, like for my family, myself. So, also, did you guys see, like, those crisis nurses? They were looking for LPNs. I know I seen one. Where I live, they're looking for forty dollars for LP and sixty dollars for RNs, and then in Washington they were doing fifty-eight a hundred, fifty-eight hundred. Sorry, weekly, weekly. I told my husband I've been on the first flight leaving out. Oh, man, almost six thousand a week, a crisis nurse. You know I can do with that money right now. But like I said, Jesus has a plan for us. God got a plan for us. He got a plan for us. They got it. They got a plan for us. It's the reason why everything is going the way it is. Because like I said, health care field never stops. So there's always going to be opportunity out there for us. So, guys, um, enough of me rambling. I doubt there will be a Thursday video because I have no school for a while. But I'll just keep you guys in the know. You know, if anything changes, check in on you guys. And, um, yeah, so I love you guys. And thanks for tuning in all the time. Stay prayed up, stay blessed, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.